Hey everyone, it's Curly Red Hero, and welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Classic Mode. So, uh, it's been a bit of a while since we've done this, but uh, let's go ahead and whoops, kill ourselves, I guess, because I forgot how to play this game, I guess. I don't, I don't know what I thought I was doing there. <laughs> it often happens that I'll play um, Breath of the Wild. And I won't know what the jump button is, so that's why right now I'm just <laughs> trying to essentially get myself reaccustomed to the controls. And that's primarily just because, like, I use the Switch Pro Controller um, to play Breath of the Wild, but then now I use it for Classic Mode. Otherwise, I usually use the uh, GameCube controller that I have. But now I, th now I think I've more or less gotten used to it. Uh, what did... Oh boy, I don't know where I am. Okay. Whew. Thanks, Togek P, for almost getting me killed here. Alright. There we go. Got a better handle of what the hell is going on. Uh, so, Pikachu is not really, in any case, way, shape, or form, a character I like playing as or against. Specifically against. I don't hate a character <laughs> as much as I hate playing against uh, Pikachu or Pichu. They are by far one of the most annoying characters to play against just because they are so fast. <laughs> and then they are so small, uh, especially in Pichu's case, that it's kind of uh, the same reason why I don't like playing against, for example, Little Mac um, or Ganondork. Just because you can't really play to uh, you know the way you want to play, essentially. Uh, so if you're like a really rushed down character or like something like that, or you know if you have a certain playstyle with a character, you kind of can't do that for the most part against these kinds of characters because they're um, they'll make it really difficult for you just for the way that they play. It's like if you just try to rush down or. Maybe not rush down, but, you know, try to go in, uh, do your basic game plan against, like, a Ganon Dork, for example. They can just catch you off guard with, like, a move or two that ends up killing you. And uh, I thought I was the one that was hit by Beware, but that's actually my Beware. <laughs> so that was kind of dumb of me. Um, but, yeah, they'll just randomly catch you with a move that you don't notice will kill you because of their high, uh, you know, knockback that their moves have that you're not used to. So you can't usually just rush in and just fight them as a normal character, right? Or at least not for me. Uh, so Pikachu and Pichu fall into that same category where I can't just do a lot of my normal things. A lot of my normal things probably won't even connect considering how small they are and how, for example, how safe some of their moves can be uh, off shield or on shield, right? So makes it a little difficult uh, for me to play against them but I know it's that's probably just oh boy you guys are really just gonna sit around spamming that are you kidding me um, it, I know that's sort of just a thing where if I were to play the matchup more often with a consistent character I probably wouldn't have such a big of an issue so for example lately I've made a, sort of a commitment for 2020 to uh, make it the year that I learned how to use Daisy very well. So I've uh, essentially only been playing Daisy. Uh, you know, usually I, I play a little bit of Chrom, a little bit of Shulk. Uh, especially if we're doing uh, like multiplayer, uh, like more than just one-on-ones. Uh, I don't really like using Daisy because uh, she doesn't really have a lot of moves in my opinion, that are really good against multiple targets, whereas, like, with Krom or, like, another sword character, it's really easy for me to just zoom around, hit swords, uh, take advantage of my opponent trying to kill someone or something like that. Um, but even in situations like that, I force myself to use Daisy, and I've gone into training mode with Daisy. I've uh, got, like, a bit of a cheat sheet, workout sheet that I've been doing. Like, I'll go in, and I'll try to do... Uh, what is it, like 20 short hops in a row and whatnot, and, you know, little things like that. So I've made an active effort to learn how to use Daisy. 
um, more so rather than just being good at the game, I've just been using Daisy. Right. And I've also tried to do some sort of uh, develop a sort of tournament mentality uh, where, for example, I'll play off against the computer just to get you know better handle for matchups. I usually don't play against the computer anymore because um, they do a lot of bullshit that people, normal human players, can't do. Right? Like they'll parry every single move you do, even though you know most players wouldn't be able to get that timing perfectly. Right? They'll be able to air dodge everything at the very last possible second, you know, all, all these kinds of things. So kind of, in my mind, uh, I felt like it made you sort of used to playing an unrealistic, playing against an unrealistic standard, right? So when you play against actual people, you you won't be as well versed, uh, if that makes sense. So that's why I sort of steered away from doing that and then I uh, started playing more online matches, even though, you know, it's got its lag and it's not the same as local and whatever you guys hate online for Smash and blah, 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 blah. It is against actual human people. Uh, so I get it more of that uh, interaction, right? Oh, fuck. I actually flicked the sticks. I ended up doing an extra aerial while I was falling down instead of an upbeat. But, you know, I felt like that was a little bit more effective. But... What I've been doing instead is that I've been playing um, sort of with this tournament mentality where like I play against certain characters uh, in a set of uh, two out of three, best two out of three. Uh, we'll do that and we'll just play on presumably tournament legal stages, right? And I'll try and beat them. Uh, and if I beat them, I'll sort of move up to a character that's presumably more difficult for me and you know, keep doing that as if I were in a real tournament. Uh, I'll also pretend like I had there is a loser's bracket, so if I lose twice in a row, you know, then I'm done and I jump onto training. So typically I'll use that to warm up, and then I'll jump into uh, my training, where I you know, actually do training, or I'll be in training mode, is what I'm gonna say, right? So that's sort of what my training has consisted of lately. And you know, I'll be honest, um, oh, I wanted to Damn it, I'm not gonna be able to do it if I damn it, I want to hit him up with one of these on the other side, but oh well. Missed opportunity. I throw my Pokeball, catch it, and I'll throw it off. Okay, that's great. Um I had a lot of doubts whether or not training mode and whatnot works. Because I have in the past uh, tried to put some time on training mode. Haven't really yielded great results, but that's primarily just because I never really put a lot of dedicated time into it as I have now, right? Uh, and uh, I, I saw a pretty, I don't say quick results, but what I'm trying to get at is I, I did see some results, right? I, did, I was playing hell of a lot better while I was doing that. I was more or less doing that consistently every day for about an hour, uh, maybe an hour or two, depending on how much time I had on my hands. Um, and then when I would go and play with my friends, I was experiencing that was like a lot better than I actually thought I was, which was really great. Um, but I also noticed inversely when I stopped doing that and I, again, played against other people, I was way, way worse. <laughs> like I was completely out of practice. Like I felt like a lot of the things I wanted to do, I just weren't working. I don't know if I just felt too cold or what the case was, but... It just felt like a completely different experience. Usually, you know, I feel really uh, the same um, when I play Smash. Uh, but I don't know. It's this weird thing. Once I start doing practice and I start doing it consistently, I play way better. And once I stop it, um, I feel completely different. Like, I don't feel like I'm as uh, good as I was when I was consistent. But I also don't feel like I'm anywhere near as good as I was uh, before that. You know what I mean? Like, I get to a certain level where... Um, where with practice, I'm amazing. And once I stop doing the practice, I'm bad even farther down bad than I was before I started practicing and then it kind of like 
you can out somewhere down the line. So, I don't know. It kind of just turns out if I want to be good at this game, I have to practice it every single day or something like that. Uh, but I, I'm going to try and see if I can get doing that again. Uh, putting in, trying to find a, like a dedicated time to do that. And then that, that's basically how I'll get better at this game, I guess. But as my battery starts to die, um, take care of yourself.